and when he scored a third goal, look at how he was celebrating and hitting Ronaldo's celebration. That calma, calma, calma at the Santiago Bernabeu. Shh, calma, calma. <laughs> right on top of the white angels. Ladies and gentlemen, a big welcome to the channel. My name is the truly inspiring Yamiche Boati. And guys, Barcelona 4, Real Madrid 0 at the Santiago Bernabeu. Oh my God. I never expected this to happen. And it was really, really good. Good and amazing brand of football to watch. I mean, from both sides. And... I didn't expect Barcelona to win by four goals to zero. And you know what is worse? Barcelona could have even beaten Real Madrid by even a six or seven goal match. And uh, Robert Lewandowski should have even probably had the four goals or five goals in this game. And it tells you how good Barcelona have been under Hansi. For like they beat Bayern Munich by four goals to one. They beat uh, Sevilla by three goals to one. And they beat Real Madrid by four goals to zero. Wow, 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 wow. And playing the high line. And going into this game, there were a lot of Real Madrid fans saying that in this game, like it's going to be an easy game for Real Madrid. All they have to do is just pounce on Real Madrid on Barcelona's high line and make sure they score goals. But this high line ended up making Kylian Mbappe upside for eight times. Kylian Mbappe was upside for eight times. I mean, in this game, and I don't, I can't, I can't understand. Kylian Mbappe had a really bad game. Mm -hmm. People may argue that it is Kylian Mbappe's first season uh, at Real Madrid and his first his first game uh, in the El Clasico and all that. But in this game, he really struggled. I didn't, I can't really remember a game where Kylian Mbappe struggled like, like this. I mean, when he was offside, he would score goals. When he was onside, he, he, he couldn't score a goal. He probably left his finishing boots in Paris because I can't understand. Kylian Mbappe couldn't get a goal for Real Madrid. And Real Madrid and Barcelona... And ba Barcelona came with a high line to Real Madrid and went without considering a single goal. Wow, what a game of football. It is, it is, not, it is not as if Mbappé was that particularly poor. But a player of his caliber, a player of the high standard that Kylian Mbappé has been to. Look at what he did in the World Cup against Argentina. Look at what he did for Paris, Paris Saint-Germain. And look at what he did for Monaco. So, looking at his performances, I think that what we are seeing has been unexpectedly very poor from Kylian Mbappé. The player of his caliber should be living up to expectation. I don't know whether I will have to blame Carlo Ancelotti for not being able to deploy Kylian Mbappé in certain positions. Deploying him and making sure he can use him and helping him to be very very fit and suitable for this Real Madrid team but I asked myself why is Kylian Mbappe misfiring he had clear cut opportunity where he, should, he could have just uh, pounced upon it and scored but Kylian Mbappe missed it you get it so I mean it's not something that I want to dwell upon so but I think Real Madrid fans will bear with me that Kylian Mbappe is not it's not on top form it's not performing well and Kylian Mbappe has to find his finishing form if Real Madrid are going to compete for anything anything silverware this season but ba barcelona are really really a good side now considering that they are playing this game of football with um how do you call it young young lads casado um they are playing with um, kubasi they are playing with um lami a 17 year old lami i'm a 17 year old Pau kubasi uh, 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 and uh, probably a 19 year old alejandro baudi playing in these games and Oh my God, Mark Casado, look at what he did in the middle of the park. Look at how he found Kylian Mbappe. Look at how Mark Casado found uh, Lewandowski to the first goal. What a player he is. What a play and these are guys that they can probably sell for 100 million pounds sterling. And, and, and it's it, it, it work because it works. Look at Gavi's potential. Look at Pau Kubasi. Look at what they bring to the team. Wow, wow, real Barcelona. And this Barcelona side came to Real Madrid. You know, going into this El Clasico, going into this, going into this season, uh, Xavi was complaining that they did not have enough quality to compete against Real Madrid. And Hansi Flick, we have to give credit to Hansi Flick. Even though it is early days yet in the La Liga, Hansi Flick has shown us that he's probably one of, uh, he's one of the best coaches in the world. And Barcelona are currently one of the best teams in the world. They beat Bayern, they beat Real Madrid, they beat Sevilla, they beat... Any, anything that and you know what you know one thing they're not even beating them by one goal to zero or something they are beating them by huge goal scoring margins for zero against Real Madrid we have to give them their fellow Hansi Flick is showing us that what he did at Bayern wasn't a fluke he's doing so well while we are talking about Hansi Flick being so good we also, we also have to give uh, the Barca La, the La Masia Academy a lot of props because the kind of quality they are producing to play in this high level matches I mean it beats my mind 
especially when you have a Madrid side that had Chouameni, that had Rudiger, that had Meletao, that had um, uh, Kylian Mbappe, that had Vinicius Junior who's going to probably win a Ballon d'Or, and these young guys are dominating them, playing, playing the ball, playing the passes, finishing their chances, and scoring four goals to zero. Guys, Barca is cooking. Barca is cooking this season. We have to give them their flowers. And Ancelotti has to be spoken to because if you're a coach like Ancelotti, coach at the highest level, coach at AC Milan, coach Real Madrid, coach Bayern Munich, coach PSG, coach a lot of stars, and you're giving Kylian Mbappe and you can't seem to find a balance to and, and the means and the ways to use Kylian Mbappe. I think the I think the blame is not on Kylian Mbappe. The blame is on Ancelotti because if you cannot if you if you cannot execute a team together, bring a team together for them to play together as a team. Especially when you have a team like you had Inzaghi, you had Shevchenko, you had Seedov, they all play together. You get it. So you have to be able to find a way where you play Bellingham, Vinicius, uh, Vinicius Junior, and play um play Kylian Mbappe together. I think that we have to we have to really say this because Angelotti hasn't found his tactics right. How Madrid press, how Madrid play their football hasn't been so good this season. And it's something that we have to really look at because they could have easily lost the game against uh, Borussia Dortmund. And the thing about the thing about Madrid is they have very good individual, individual players. So we really don't talk about tactics when we talk about Real Madrid. But I think that eventually they will be exposed. Eventually they will be exposed. Something has to be fixed in either in the midfield or the attack to make sure that Real Madrid will be composed. Real Madrid will become Real Madrid will be a, a solid unit. Enough of enough of Real Madrid playing like individuals. We need to, we need to talk about Lamin Yamal, a 17 year old attacker. When, when Lionel Messi left Barcelona. Barca miraculously had Ansu Fati. Ansu Fati played for like one year and then had an injury. And then they miraculously got Lami Yamal. And Lami Yamal has proved to be a bit better than Ansu Fati at this, at, this, at this level of football. Then, a similar thing to happen to uh, uh, Sergio Busquets left. And then they had, uh, how do you call it, Mark Bernal. Mark Bernal is also injured. And they have a certain uh, Casado who is even proven to be much better than uh, Bernal at this stage in, I mean, in the league now. I don't know how Barcelona keep doing, it, but look, they are they really have a very good uh, uh, academic. And talking about the uh, Lamin Yamal guy, the guy is so good, he's so calm. And when he scored the third goal, look at how he was celebrating and hitting Ronaldo's celebration. The calma, calma, calma at the Santiago Bernabeu. Shh, calma, calma. <laughs> right on top of the white angels, white on top of their heads. <laughs> you get it. Terry goes to zero, at, at, and then this guy is like, and he's really, you, you don't really get to see him so full of himself, but out of nothing, you get to see that he does something out of nothing, and everybody's talking about his 17-year-old attacker, and guy, this this guy is going to torment uh, uh, Real Madrid for a long time. Oh my God, is he going to cause problems again, like just like Lionel Messi did, we, get, we, we wait to see, but this guy is just that good. I think the entire Real Madrid performance was absolutely terrible. It wasn't it wasn't good it was nothing to write home about when you look at uh, real madrid i don't think there was one person who really performed very well. maybe probably kamavinga did a bit better kamavinga was good i mean and then killing him up he squandered a lot of chances but i think i think apart from what venetia you know, could have uh, uh, squared it to uh, Kylian Mbappe in the box. There wasn't really any clear cut chance creation opportunity. Even if there was a chance creation opportunity, uh, it was either an offside or Mbappe squandered. It was uh, squandered. It was really an embarrassing performance by Real Madrid. I think that they have to sit down and get and regroup, come together as a team, and see what they can achieve this season. I don't understand why. Uh, the coach didn't even give Enric a chance in this game. Maybe probably give Enric a chance and then give uh, Alder Goulet a chance because these are young guys play Lami Yamal and uh, uh, Rafinha and then probably Landowski. They can probably do something in the game, come in and then probably exchange something, cause harm or do something. But at 16, at 16 minutes, Mbappe was lost. Uh, you didn't really see what uh, Mbappe was doing. So probably give the young, give Enric a chance and let's see whether he could have scored a goal in this high line. But I don't know why Carlo Ancelotti decided not to bring in these young lads. Ancelotti really failed in this game. This loss for Real Madrid has been coming. Look, Madrid are the best team like when they have everything working. But when you look at this Real Madrid team, eh, what is their strength? They attack. Do they press well? No, they don't press well. Do they dominate games? They don't dominate games. Uh, Ancelotti gets out coached 
probably in the majority of the games but the individual players probably come out for him and they get a win the fundamentals of football aren't even there this madrid team used to know how, this madrid team knew how to play in patterns knew how to exchange quick passes and then cause harm but this particular madrid team doesn't know how to play in patterns there's no defensive line they are not able to stay in a proper defensive line look at how they gifted the goal to Lewandowski in this game i asked myself why what is wrong i think ancelotti has to go back to the basics the fundamentals and get these things right guys the things are so many for ancelotti now i don't know whether there's something going on wrong in the camp but i mean he he, he brought in mbappe for mbappe to fix uh, uh, uh to, to probably draw back a uh, bellingham to where his position where you're scoring more goals things are not working well at real madrid and we have to tell them the truth guys thank you for watching this video I'll give you back-to-back -back updates on this channel. The best year to come. Bye for now.